Oh, hi everyone. I think uh, you caught me in a bit of a middle of a, of a scientific experiment right now. Uh, I think I think the key company might have a lot of explaining to do because it oh. seems like. The PBT, the supposedly PBT caps weigh the same as ABS. So I think we've all been taken for a ride. <coughs> anyway, that's it, everybody. PC load letter. Duncan. Hertz 38, Trinity the Gamer. NGB, Talisman Solutions, Jacob from Tennessee, Alina is also here, Striker with the 21 month streak, holy shit. Damn, dude, I'm, I'm very proud of you. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. A true OG. Possibly Fruit. Got the kind of PVT greater than GMK. Well, clearly, if you look at our super, super scientifically sound uh, set up over here, you will see that it's actually equal. I've got to set up this fulcrum at home to weigh all my shit tonight. Yes, you should. You really should. And if you weigh as much as a bunch of rocks, that clearly means you're just a bunch of rocks. Yeah, for those of you, for those of you who, who are out of the loop, uh, someone tried to accuse KBD fans of uh, shorting customers by 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 shipping anodized aluminum instead of brass. Uh, plates. And the guy showed it by using a, a homemade fulcrum of balance. And he compared a TKL brass plate to a full size steel plate, uh, aluminum plate. Pretty impressive stuff. But anyway, uh, stupidity aside, we have a couple things to look at today. Both equally exciting, I'd say. Actually, maybe the one after this is a bit more exciting. Deafness, you made it too. Who knows how deep the deception truly goes? Yeah, it's 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 real tricky navigating this world of fake and faker news. Oh yes, yeah, so for those of you who haven't seen it, here, let's take a look at it real quick. This is the accusation levied against Kibbity fans. You can see the MK2 or Mark II brass plate over here. And a full-size Corsair aluminum plate with the stabilizers installed. Amazing, absolutely amazing. It's kind of weird. How do you have a? How do you not have a scale, but have this long piece of wood? Uh, how? How? Do, <laughs> maybe that's why it doesn't have a scale. This is a scale. <laughs> yes. Uh, seems good indeed. Seems very good. Totally legit. So the two things we're doing today, if you haven't seen the title yet, we are unboxing the Infiniki Cherry Katakana set, produced and sold by the Key.co or TKC, and we're also going to be looking at a KV75 V2 that was built by the one and only Vipers here, who became famous by building Tfue's keyboard 
that stopped working after a week. This one's even better. This one doesn't work at all, apparently. So I got contacted. We'll talk a bit more once we do that. But basically, guy contacted me, you know, saying his board doesn't work. Uh, Viper stopped responding to him, or never responded to him. And so he's stuck with a board that doesn't work at all. So shipped it to me. And we're gonna rebuild it. We're gonna take a look at it. We're gonna desolder it. We're gonna. Uh, it's gonna be very fun. It's gonna be super fun. Hey, I don't know how much it costs. I should probably ask him. Uh, that's a good question. I should have asked him before we went live today. All right. So let's begin. Let's go ahead and start some more. Something more mild. Oh wow, that's so dark. What the hell is going on? Okay, so let's check out the link. I have it somewhere. All oh, right. So if you are interested in this keycap set, or you just wanna read up on it, you want to scrutinize it. Please check out the website over here. Now, this, I'm not sponsored by them. This was not sent to me by thekey.co. This was sent to me by Turnstile, who is the same guy who had the three SKBs. Uh, he also sent J uh, Android PT Slate for me to for us to look at on stream last time. So this time he sent me these nice caps. So you will see there are four options. There's a black white. There's a which is a mix of white and black and black and white. Whoops. So you have matcha. You have black white. You have W O B B O W B B W. You know, lots and lots of options. They're supposedly thick. Uh, looks like it's all over dice sub, right? Or is it reverse dice sub? Yeah, so PBT, uh, what does it say? Image, okay, so this is all, so this is just, yeah, just printed on. So yeah, so you can read up. Pretty cool because uh, PBT is infamously difficult to work with, notoriously difficult to work with. And it's why, you know, we don't see a lot of color variation for PBT sets because for Die subbing, you can really only die sub darker colors onto light colors. Uh, but for this one, they are basically printing images, so full images onto, they're basically dying full images onto a white keycap. So, so you can read up about it here. Uh, but let's let's go ahead and check out the, the set. So are they all out of stock? So only the matcha set is still available. Everything else is out of stock. All right. He knows about you, but didn't choose you to build it in the first place. No, I don't think he knew about me. I think um, he only tried to look up, look me up uh, on Mag Market later on, maybe. You know, when he was trying to actually look for people who, who know what they're doing. Which reminds me, I should probably update my ad. I have not updated my ad in over two years. I've not made a post in very two years. Don't really need to, though. I'm busy enough with builds. So preference PBT or ABS? PBT by a long shot. Uh, I can't think of any instance where I would actually pick ABS over PBT in terms of just you know, typing and thing. The only thing is the space bar. PBT sounds way better, feels way better, but unfortunately for larger keys, there's a lot of warping that could happen because of the way it cools. Uh, and so a lot of times, unfortunately, PBT, yeah, the space bar might. Space bars, shift keys, enter keys might be unusable. Which sucks. Turnstile is here. Yeah, so again, thank you, Turnstile, for sending this here. Let's check out. BBW ones are more thick. Yes. 1.65 millimeters. Mods are way browner than they look in the pictures. Perfect. So it's actually olive. I'd do that. Ok, 
Okay. So come to this cool tray that uh, did not do an amazing job of holding on the caps. I guess. You know, the fact that it held most of it is impressive. I wonder if these fit GMK caps properly. Hold on. Let me try one out. The D, the D came out. We're gonna put the D back in there. Okay, so you can see these keycaps are smaller than cherry keycaps. Because I'm sure this tray was designed to fit cherry profile caps. And so you can see this one, nice and tight. Or this tighter. You put this one in, you can see there's a little wiggle room. Yes, so GMK is still the big D keycaps. First impressions, these are not black. Uh, definitely not black. So Gawk had a similar issue when he was trying to work on uh, Kuro Shiro. The all over dice up keys and reverse dice up the recurring issue was that the when he was trying to do white on black PBT basically so the black he couldn't get the black to be black enough it was always bluish or purplish and uh, you can see that even these might even look a bit closer to black so these are super dark gray off black PBT caps Alright, so this is not even black because. Let me show you. What the hell is my. GMK. I think cat can do black. I have no idea. I, I, I really have no idea. I, I mean, we've never seen them. I think it's so, all. But if you're asking for my speculation, I'd say no. I'd say that it's it's a you know so far I just haven't seen any successful like, actual black black uh, all over there so. So far, so far. The kind of keycap, the better. Not necessarily. Uh, all else equal, maybe. Most of the time, yes. But it's not as simple as just the thickness. But yeah, if all else equal, it means if the shape is the same, the material is the same, everything else is the same. Most of the time, yes. Up to a certain point. Okay, so let's compare GMK Black. Even still, black and black as closer, but still not black. I'm pretty sure you can get actual uh, black keycaps, as in not like GMK black, but because these are not even supposed to be black black, it's supposed to be like an off black, that's why you can actually print stuff on it. Uh, but I'm sure you could probably get them even darker if you want. For, for just PBT blacks. Alright, I think this makes it quite obvious. See this looks grey. Honestly, it looks like a. It has a very cool tone to it, so it looks kind of bluish gray. But you can see, yes. Yeah, so compared to GMK, it's a significant difference. Yeah, so if you're expecting white on black, unfortunately it really isn't black. It's white on gray. Fanta black PBT. 
Fuck Anish Kapoor. Is Anish Kapoor? Am I even? Is that even the right name? My profile is Kata Cherry. Because the name says Cherry. So it should be Cherry Profile. It should be. But, of course, it's not a perfect clone because, like I said, the keycaps are smaller than GMK already. They are also slightly shorter, I want to say. Just very, very slightly. Super, super slightly. Or maybe I'm just making things up. But another thing you can see that around the edges, you can see there's sort of uh, some fading going on. See that? So, so we're mostly trying to look at the, the technology. corners the coverage isn't as good is that close to n9 n9 has a warmer tone quite a bit warmer yeah can I surrender color but yeah this one this one is a I would just call this gray But yes, I'd say yeah. N9 could be could be close. Do I have something in N9 here? Maybe not. I love you. I only have hundred twenty dollars to buy a set, I don't know what's what it's worth. Uh, I mean it depends on what you want really. But I can tell you, you can either get the GMK one in black from Mass Drop, this set over here, if you want a proper black set. If not, then I get Cherry Profile PPT. Uh, and Drop PPT right now is a, you know, you know, you know what to expect. It, it's solid for the money. Just get that. It fills most uh, keyboard layouts. Is it worth getting DSA? Is it worth no? Just all, all that now. Just get chair profile. That's it. If you only have hundred twenty dollars to spend, just get chair profile. Okay, and we'll look at the. Legends in a bit, and we'll look at the alignment, things like that. But. In terms of cat versus chair profile, I actually prefer chair profile. Uh, but in terms of sculpted stuff, or spherical stuff, Cat's pretty good. Cat's like a close, close second for me. Like if I, if you ask me, cat profile compared to OEM, I think I might even take cat over OEM profile. Power steering, hello. You just doing a boxing? Can I pick your brain for more about something keyboard related? I mean, you can. It depends on what you want to ask. I mean, you know, and there are other people in chat who can help out as well. Possibly fruit. Thank you so much for the Twitch Prime sub. I really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Quite like the KB Public caps for the price they offer them at. Yes, I absolutely agree. I think that, uh, especially when you get them from Mass Drop, I believe you can get a TKL set for around thirty, forty dollars. It might even be thirty something for to cover a TKL. I think that for the money that's other than him still caps, uh, thirty-seven dollars. You know, in terms of strictly just value, I think that's probably the best. Just because, you know, it's fucking 30 something dollars for a TKL. And I think for full set, I think it goes up to about 50, 60. How do I feel? Okay, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get through one by one. So we looked at the, the first of all, the, the color. See, there's a lot of keys over here. The cool stuff about doing this all over die subbing is you can get some crazy details in. Right, compared to just traditional die subbing. Because if you just do traditional die subbing, 
you are not going to get these clean lines they're all just going to uh, what's the word fuzz out Yeah, see, that's pretty impressive. You can do a lot of fun stuff with this. It's just funny that uh, we have the option to, we have the technology to do this, but we decided to just do white on gray. All right, think of all the possibilities. You do all your favorite anime heroines, right? Protagonists of courage and strength. Uh, right, you could just have the whole keyboard. So many things you could do. Let's check the space bars to see how straight they are. Okay, uh, and again, you can see around the edges they fade. You get light around the edges. You can see all the corners are like that. Katakana cherry set feels kind of mushy compared to my Taiha OEM set. Press on the bottom of the keycap to get a good clack. The texture feels like PBT. How to compare is another question. It's surprisingly straight. Right? Seven in space bar. Look at that. Whoops. What am I doing? You can just I see look at that. I mean in terms of just the uh Exterior is pretty straight. Uh, we'll, we'll check the stems afterwards. So this one is a bit warped. So yeah, it's quite a bit warped actually. Look at that. See how not straight it is. Where my index finger is rubbing. Look at that. I guess you look over here too. Hmm. See this dip over here? Yeah, it's bowed outwards here. Same color as switch light. I still need to look into the switch light. I mean, you told me to get one, right? Arrows, uh, that's interesting, right? The dotted arrows. So. I probably don't want to put them on a most of other boards because most of them are going to be clicky. Not going to try any difference. Much better than my NJPT black on white spacebar. Mine, mine's terrible. Mine's terrible. Check out the Star Wars set. Look at that escape.
The wobble stabilizer is normal. I've got some pre my space bar with recent GMP screw-ins. The wire sample on the right side. Uh, it depends on how much you're talking about, but most of the time that's normal. I mean, your keys are gonna have some wobble anyway. But yeah, it depends on, 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 on how wobbly you're talking. So let's take some of the middle keys out. Yes. Oh shit, I don't even remember how to. <laughs> yes. Okay, so that's HJKL. Whoa, they said even they said shorter than Android PPT, that's for sure. The thing about alignment is that because it's all italic, it's kind of hard for me to, to eyeball it. I mean, first impressions are decent. Like, you know, nothing stands out that's horribly misaligned. But again, because of italic, it's hard for my eyes to... Okay, I think here you can see a difference. But these are the exact same. Okay. So if you look at the two code keys, See how this one sits quite a bit higher? This one's also kind of angled upwards. Kind of like when you're walking, you're riding on a blackboard, right? Or on a whiteboard. It starts to rise. See, and then this one is a bit straighter, but it is a little taller. Because this one, you can say that this corner is a little lower. I don't know how obvious it is on camera, but in person, it's definitely something that you could easily see. Let me grab a ruler to it. See how the left C is lower? If we line up the code on the right, See that the left one. Yeah, so some alignment issues. But again, because of italic, that's some next level shit, right? You make it all italic, it's hard to for your eyes to really compare stuff. Font sizes are kind of weird. I'd say it's okay. I actually prefer when when they keep all the legend sizing sort of consistent. Although over here, I think caps lock is smaller, so take back what I said. Yeah, actually, are they even consistent? I don't think they they even are. Yeah, I don't think so. Yep. So ignore what I just said. We'll see, hello. Okay, so let's see if the space bar works okay. The 70 space bar it is. Man, just look at how blue it looks, honestly. It looks like a midnight blue, right? Compared to these. Hey, yeah, that's usable. Oh, you know what? Why am I so dumb? Why am I putting on this board when... We have a nicer board to put it on.
Yes, I'm, I'm doing okay. Uh, weather's been amazing uh, today. For the most part. I did get a bit warm towards the end. But... And then tomorrow will be a little warm as well. And then Thursday is going to suck too. Thursday is going to go back up to 90. But the cold front has finally hit Dallas. So, it's amazing. Last night was awesome. Maybe I need to turn my AC on. Exactly. High 60s. Mid 60s is the best. Absolute best. Light jacket or, you know, if you're not afraid of the cold then you can just wear a t-shirt or a long sleeve t-shirt or a Henley it's the best okay, so this is what the Ender PD space bar sounds like and we're gonna replace it holy pandas with a brass plate polycarbonate case Whoa, that actually sounds... Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my god, okay, so it's super tight. Super, super tight. I'd actually prefer the way the space bar sounds over here. This sounds very solid compared to the Android PPT space bar. So this one sounds brighter. Well, also, this is kind of warped, so it's kind of hard to mess it. What plate case is this? This is the E6.5. Uh, it was in a group buy, so you can't just buy one retail. You have to scour the aftermarket for one. That actually sounds pretty good. This 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 space actually sounds pretty good. Feels nice too. That's the thing. It just feels solid. Mostly, I think, just because of how straight it is compared to this one. Compared to a GMK, this far. Fushibra. Hello. Into the thirties here tonight. Kyrgyzstan. Yeah, so this paper sounds pretty good. Let's try some of the other keys. In terms of the larger keys, I think they definitely have a deeper sound. Which on PBT? Yeah, that space bar just sounds so nice. Right. Japanese horror artist! Thousand bits, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. I hope you're doing fine. He is life, absolutely. Absolutely. Okay, so.
I could even replace more of these actually. Okay, so overall they are shorter than Android PPT for sure. Alright, let's that. And again, you can see all the corners. It's almost like a backlight bleed, you know? <laughs> they, they, they should just rename this uh, IPS uh, PBT or something. The blacks aren't deep enough and there's a lot of backlight bleed in the corners. Thoughts on a dolphin? I built one. I mean, seems good. Seems good. Would I pay a thousand dollars for it? I wouldn't, but you know, if you really like the aesthetic, go for it. I would use another PCB though. And the nice thing is that it is compatible with, say, a high-end PCB or any of the other standard-ish TKL PCBs. So just go with those. All right. So let's compare all the rows. I think overall I prefer the way the Android PPT sounds compared to Infinity Key set. What do you guys think? I think the space bar, the Infinity Key or TKC space bar sounds, I prefer it to the Android PPT space bar. But see, these sound, I, I, I don't know, they, they have a richer tone to it, whereas these just kind of. It's not kind of plasticky, which I mean, of course, they're all plastic, right? Yeah, you prefer Android PPT, right? Yeah, in terms of the sound, I, I definitely prefer the Android PPT sound.
we have not looked at the build yet. Uh, it'll be right after this. All right, so now let's compare. Okay, so this is interesting. So you can see if we compare all three and JRPBT is the tallest overall for pretty much all of them. And then, and then the Infinity set, and then finally Chair Profile. Ah, uh, GMK. GMK, which is, you know, kind of the OG Chair Profile, is still the lowest of them all, just by a hair. Right, but you can see how much taller and jerky he is. See, it's not just, you know, oh, just PBT, you know, it's also other things, but I think out of these three, and Jerry PBT sounds the best. Have you tried Imsto sets? That's what this set is. That's what that Star Wars set was. If you know me, you would know that I am a huge, or was a huge Imsto fan. Uh, one of my most if you just look up imsto on rmk or something you'll probably find my comment somewhere it was a long time ago though so maybe maybe three years ago I don't know, around that time so overall is it a, a worthy alternative? I'd say yes. Is it the, you know, is it going to become the king of PBT or the king of keycaps? Unfortunately not. Because I, other than the space bar, I don't know if I like the way their other keys sound as much as, you know, to warn all the other issues, right? I don't know if it's worth uh, I don't know if the very very minor sound difference compared to GMK like you know, it's not a huge I wouldn't even really call it much of an advantage other than the space bar I'd say uh, so of course the price difference is you know pretty staggering but I think, yeah, definitely not, you know. Not the, not the savior that we all hoped it was gonna be. Is it worth the money? I'd say probably yes, you know. It's really pretty cheap. Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I was gonna say cheap and then realize $95. I mean, it is for a lot of keys. You know what? You know what I said about the value? You know that? At this price point, buying JPT. For some reason, for some stupid reason, I thought I saw 65 instead of 95 for some of these sets. So just just buy it in JPT. Compare compare Comparing in JPT to the Infinity set at the retail price, I would say not worth buying. Uh, I, 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 yeah, so what are we talking about? Value? The TKC or Infinity set definitely does not have that, uh, unfortunately. 
It really does. I would. You're really only getting... Again, you might say, well, you know, we finally get PBT that has color and some of the different options. Then also, the thing is, yeah, there's color, but all these sites, look, look at all these sites. So, you can finally go hog wild and go crazy with colors, right, because of the different printing technique. And you just did black on, you know, other than, other with the exception of uh, white on black, or black, you know, all the other sets are just fucking black on white, black on green. Why? I could have just, you know, done that and enjoy PPT. But I think around two CRP, CRP is worse than enjoy PPT in almost every regard. Like, uh, if you want, you can look up my unboxing and review of it, uh, initial impression, things like that. I returned all eight sets that I ha got from Mass Drop. I didn't even bother selling them, even though I would have made a lot of money, I guess. But yeah, return all of them. I uh, is CRP worth buying at eighty dollars, nine dollars, possibly, maybe, because you know they have options that JPT doesn't have. Two hundred dollars, no. Fucking ripping yourself off if you buy CRP for two hundred dollars. Round two did not change very much compared to round one. So what I understand, they tighten up quality control here and there, but other than that, fundamentally no real changes. They just, you know, make sure not to have as many mini missing keys and things like that. Uh, but other than that, not really, not really any major differences. The keycaps are still the same sort of material and structure, so they all still feel worse than even in PVT. Yeah, it. There's, they were supposed to emulate the BSP feel and sound. They don't do it at all. They don't sound like BSP at all. They don't feel like BSP at all. Even Enjoy PPT is closer, which is crazy because Enjoy PPT honestly has always just been, you know, it's, you know, it's still pretty good for the money, but in terms of just actual PPT, chair profile sets is pretty average, right? Compared to say, BSP, uh, Imsto caps from back that way back then, uh, compared to OG Cherry, yeah, but CRP somehow is worse than all of them. Purple 710, hey, how's it going? Chris is always upset also here. Worldview has been shattered. I don't know. I, uh, who, who's even saying that CRP round two is so good? I really, I really would like to know.
Hey, Piri Keyboards, hello. How's it going? Yes, he makes the best PPT sets. Uh, sort of, sort of, sort of. It depends on what your best. You know what? What do you mean by best? Because they have terrible coverage. Like Sprint. Ha ha ha. Okay. So this next thing, I'm pretty excited for it. Or. Anxious as well. Get some monk ass in chat. Yes, yeah, so this next thing is a board, KB75 V2, built by the man who put together the world's most expensive hot swap 60%. Keyboard for Tifu. This guy, ha he took a break for a bit and is now back to assemble keyboards, I believe, custom keyboards. And I kind of stayed out of it for the most part. So we are talking about the one only Vipers here. Uh, he got famous from you know building Tfue's keyboard just because he was a mod for Tfue. And he started his own building thing and again, you know, uh, in my Discord, there were a few people who were really uh, obsessed with him, I'd say. Not in a good way. Uh, and, you know, I made sure to tone that down. And But today, so today, we actually get to see his handiwork. And I'm excited for it because I've already seen pictures. And the pictures don't look very good. Uh, so, the board arrived. So, this was sent in not by him, but by someone else, by a customer of Vipers here. He got his board, didn't work, plugged it in, not detected by the computer. Uh, I believe he said the lights lit up, but nothing else worked. Uh, at first, I thought, oh, maybe, you know. Just flash the firmware, maybe something over there, reset the board. He said, oh, I already resetted it. I, uh, you know, I did what I, you know, I tried, you know, doing everything, nothing, nothing really happened. I don't know if he reset actually, maybe I should look, uh, look at it again. But, so at first, you know, I made, you know, I was like, oh, probably, you know, a software thing. And then sent pictures of the assembly and the soldering work. And I was like, oh yeah, so it probably is, you know, a soldering fuck up because soldering uh, but today we get to look at it in greater detail. Uh, I've always wanted to see a board built by this guy, so super fun. Everybody, put on your uh, microscopic goggles. Yes, let's go. Okay, so this is just uh, replacement parts. So stabilizers and I believe another PCB. Kind of sad. At first, I said, you know, oh, maybe we could salvage the PCB. And then when I saw the soldering picture, I was like, yeah, probably not. You know, you probably need a replacement PCB. Uh, let's set these aside. Okay. So. Yeah, too bad I don't have a macro lens. It could be, it could be a lot of fun. But I think a lot of the. Oh, oh, oh. We'll find out. Okay. Look, this is not packed by Vipers here, right? Yeah, so I'll be rebuilding this. Uh, hopefully nothing else was damaged too bad. Moment of truth. Okay, so first thing that I notice, check out the, check out the cream pies in the stabilizers. Look at that. This is leaking out. And of course, you know, he's still using 
still using uh, extreme floral. Where's my tube of that stuff? I think I got rid of it. Yeah, so you can see just the white crumbly bits around. Right. I think he followed a a a, bi a, a, a YouTube video guide that copied my old method. I believe that's probably what I did. Copy my old method one to one. Uh, even though I stopped using the extreme floral stuff, which does this, where it's just white stuff everywhere and doesn't really do anything. Uh, and then you can see on the inside, there's just kind of that thick grease. I don't really know what that is. It doesn't look like that actually grease, but maybe it is. But it's insane actually. Look at that. There's not. There's no room at all, right? If you talk about filling in the gaps between the plastic and metal parts, this is this is filled up. Saturated with grease. That's insane. Okay, so look, we could try to put a keycap on and see how that feels. Oh, and look at that! Look at look at the look at the look at the key the switches floating off the plate. Do you see that? Do, do you see this shit? Okay, see, so it's supposed to look like that. See how the brass is right up against the... Well, it's not really right up against. You can see that it's still floating off the back, but... The front kinda, right? Sort of. Like, it's close. It's close! Closer. It's still not flush, but closer. And if you look over here, back here... There's a, there's a huge gap. Look at that. Wow. Wow, that's actually impressive. Like it's basically PCB mount. Look at that. It's basically a uh, plateless. <laughs> Look at that. The, the 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 switch doesn't touch the plate at all. Look at that. That's amazing. Ah, we have screws missing. Just it's it's why would you not even put the screws in? Okay, so there's one. No screw, no screw. Two. Three. Four. So you're supposed to screw in. Let's see. So he left. Five. I guess this one you can't really screw in. There's a hole, but there's no hole in the PCB. But you can see the four more spots around here. But yeah, so it's it's insane. Like he just just cuts corners. But uh, but you know the screwing part. You know that's like okay. You know like you can try to fix the screwing part. Right? I can just put more screws in there. But screwing up the build though, yeah. I don't know if you can just easily fix that as a user, right? Look at that. Look at look at the. This is why I always talk about making sure the the switches are flush against the plan PCB. Okay, so let's test out the stabilizers real quick. There's lots of lube everywhere. Man, you can feel the the grease. It's just rubbing up against itself. Got the space bar. Yo, what the fuck? Man, I'm so worried about the plate. I'm worried that it's gonna be warped. Because of the soldering. Oh man. Oh boy. Oh boy, those. Stabilizers. I wonder if they're even genuine cherry actually. I might even check that. Oh, it feels bad. But yeah, just look at look at that. Look at that.
Damn, look at that gruel. So use the hot swap builds. Yeah, probably. Probably. You know, for me, I, I made sure to build at least a handful of boards before I even offered to help anyone in the building. And then by the time I put my services up, you know, I had already around 10 keyboards I worked on. Everybody has been working with electronics since they were 12. No, Tasman Solutions, this is, this is someone who offers his keyboard building services. This is different. This is not an amateur user. Well, he is a fucking amateur, I'll tell you that. Uh, but this is not just someone trying to, you know, work on a DIY project, trying to learn a few things. This is someone who has, refu has blocked people who criticized him and refused to, you know, listen to any sort of suggestions or advice from people. And yeah, so he tried to make his own keyboard building service uh, and then keyboard doesn't work, stopped responding to people as well. So a lot of people have hundreds of dollars tied up with him. So today we're kind of just looking at his work, right? I'm just trying to show you uh, what you get. Okay, so let's try to plug this in. I'm kind of afraid. Okay, so let's see if there's any damage on the board actually. Although that, you know, probably would not be on him. Okay, so... So this, I don't know who, who who's at fault over here, but you can see the screw holes all seem to have the the black anodizing kind of scratched off around it, right, under the rings. That's not supposed to happen. I believe someone used a screwdriver that was a bit too thick for it. That's usually what happens. You can see this. Usually. But so let me bring another. I might be wrong about this, but let me bring another. Typically, that's what happens. Yeah, see, if you compare it to my TV seventy five V two, see the parts on the rings are pretty clean around the screw holes. Look at that. Don't see any silver. The KB75 doesn't have arrow keys. Oh shit, it doesn't. LOL, what the fuck? <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> I wonder, okay, so I have to ask the guy if he even tried putting keycaps on, cause yes. Bruh. <laughs> what? Also, see how more screws are not screwed in, right? Right? There's no screws, right? Okay, that's one there. There's nothing there. And then there's one here. There's nothing here. <laughs> nothing here. It's actually amazing. So, but but the screws part, I don't know if I'll probably have to ask the the, the buyer because it might have been him taking out the board to you know try to try to try to reset the board and and, and you know try to take a picture of the PCB. So maybe it might have been the, the buyer. So let's not you know get too hung up on the screws part because it makes sense to to you know maybe for the buyer he's like oh yeah you know I probably don't want Anthony to unscrew so much so you know maybe. So let's not, let's ignore the screws part, we don't know. Uh, but the soldering and the build job, that's what I'm, that's what I'm concerned about. It arrived short screws, hey look, Big Dave himself is also here. Okay, so he, the buyer's here, okay. Uh, I have a, uh, what was the other question I want to ask? So I didn't short screws. So yeah, so screws were missing. Was this the layout that you asked for? 
without the arrow keys, because this one has a... See, so honest, 75%. Typically, right, the whole point of going 75%. You have arrow, arrows, and then you don't use the stabilizer here, so you get a short right shift. So you can see this one. Has the stabilizer in there. So, I would have had to rebuild this anyway, because, yeah. You'll have to re you'll have to take out the plate near the solder and just to pull out the stabilizers. Although actually, it is possible to remove stabilizers without desoldering everything. You could. Is it advisable? No. Uh, it's only almost impossible if you try to put stabilizers back in. If you're trying to take them out. It's not not that big of a deal. Also, this part I'm okay. Look okay. Look at this. Look at this. This is, man, this shit fucking blows my mind. Do I have my 75% PCB here? Well, we'll, 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 we'll look at it once we take it out, but I'm pretty sure this is supposed to be a south facing uh, stabilizer wire. I'm quite sure. Because you see how the cutouts over here on the plate, you can see the big cutouts here. That's where the wire is supposed to go, or the wire is supposed to go, right? And you can see the wires on this side. So at first I was like, man, the cable the, the, the cable fans fuck up again by, by cutting the you know by not cutting the plate properly. And then I realized I'm pretty sure most boards have a south facing over here. And then you can see that the the bigger hole is here, right? You, you might not be able to tell very easily, but the part that sticks into the stabilizer is supposed to fill out this section. You're not even supposed to really see the hole. Because the bigger hole is where the wire side goes. And it has a bigger uh, insert point And it blocks out the whole thing. And another thing is this uses the fixed stabilizers. But that one, you know, might not be on him. But really, you should... If you're building boards for people, you should try to advise them to not use the fixed stabilizers because they are pretty bad. Should be seventy dollars for the build labor rest of just parts. Seventy dollars. That's what I charge for a uh, seventy-five percent. That's roughly what I charge because seventy-five percent I do uh, three and a half hours. So at twenty-one at uh, twenty-one dollars per hour. So yeah, about the same. Except I can assure you. He probably took like three times less the the, the actual number of hours to, to build it. He probably just fucking just I I can do a better job than this in in forty minutes. <laughs> so this is mind blowing. Yeah, so lots of missing screws. Okay, so yeah, so we have confirmation from the by himself that this is not this was how it arrived. Oops, the screws missing. And then see all the scratches. I don't know if you were here when we talked about this. Uh, all the scratches around the screw holes. That means that someone used the screwdriver that's a bit too too girthy for it. Which ones are find the cost to get everything fixed? Yeah, I've heard that he's back in the in the in the building scene, so I hope that you get a refund or something. I just really hope so. This is great content. Yes. And the thing is I guess it's better that it's a live stream instead of a YouTube video because it means that you know we're actually looking at it live instead of bring with it okay, so there is a screw over here <laughs> I 
All right, take a look at this and tell me what you. Tell me if you see anything wrong. Just, just from this view. Just look at it. Tell me if you see anything wrong. Yeah. So the acrylic layer. The, the 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 masking tape or the, the protective film is still on here. <laughs> so your RG wouldn't even have worked. What the fuck? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> See, this peeling part would have been included in my build service, but the, apparently this one is uh, this one doesn't include the peeling service. It's just building, strictly building. None of this stripping peeling shit. Also check out this new plate setup. So you've heard of uh, plate mount, you've heard of, you've heard of uh, plate list, you've heard of half plate. This is also half plate, but a new form of half plate. So this plate, you see it, but it doesn't actually do anything. So look at how the plate literally touches the, <laughs> the PCB. That's insane. Now I'm kind of worried about the plate now because um, see how bent it is. Yeah, so now I'm worried because brass is really hard to um, straighten once you've messed it up. It, it's it's not like aluminum where you can kind of force your way. Uh, brass is a bit more difficult. Uh, plastic, you won't have to worry about this, right? You either break it or you don't. Yeah, look at that. This plate literally touches the PCB. It's like he tried to do the, uh, you know, he heard of the Zephyr. Like, oh, yeah, you know. Five millimeter plate, no gap between the plate and PCB. I'll do that, dude. So it's just there. You see the front, there's at least some gap. Oh man, you can see it's also bowed over here. So it's bowed in the other direction. It's also bowed in the same direction. So everything in the middle kind of smooshed in. Wow, this is this is um. When you look at the whole thing, this is for sure the worst build I've seen. As in, in the build itself, I wouldn't say it's, you know, strictly the worst. Like, if you talk about just the plate and the switches and stuff, because I've seen pretty bad ones. Uh, but this one, because, you know, you look at the acrylic not being, the acrylic protective film not being peeled off, the screws being missing. If you include that in the conversation, then this definitely, I think... Is the current champ for worst build I've seen. Okay, so you can see the switches. Kind of floating off the PCB. I don't know if you can see that. Some of them are flush though, which is good, which is good. Some of them. And then get it this side. Look at that. We got some right brother nonsense going on here. That one's just fucking uh, flying. So I think. Okay, so if you put switches on, okay, look at this. So I'll put switches on. Alright, uh, keycaps on. Extra 10 bucks to remove the sticker. Oh, yes. You probably have to hire someone else just to peel the sticker off. You probably need like a dedicated sticker peeler. I, I offer that service if you want. I, I run a, a Moonlight uh, stripping service for, uh, deck, for you know, acrylic protective films. Okay, so what key was that caps lock, right? Okay. So, because of how much that key was floating, I want to see. Wowzers! Okay. Uh, hold on. Tab. See y'all? 
caps lock is sitting higher up. Look at the front, you can see the caps lock is just lifted off compared to the adjacent keys. See, compared to the, compared to the tab key. June the Boon, welcome to the June Fiscal Melt is also here. Welcome. Uh, who else? Neil Jonathan. Yeah, this is all very uh, jerk chicken. Hey, you made it. Hello, hello. Uh, hopefully, I didn't miss anyone. If I missed anyone, uh, my Pelks also here. Champalan, hello. Yeah, if, if I miss anything, let me know. I'm, I'm so, I'm just so. What's the word? What's the word? Another word for hypnotized. Entranced. Is that is that the word I'm thinking of? Oops. Yes. This thing has put a spell on me. Tyson is also here. Hello. Okay, so if anything, uh, what we learned today is that if you think you are bad at building keyboards, You're not the worst. If you need a bit of a confidence boost to go to bed better tonight, this is your source of confidence. All right, cause this is astounding. It's only the four screws. And the worst part is not just uh, taking people's money. He also has a lot of bills that he just hasn't fulfilled. Like a lot, lot. So he's just sitting on thousands of dollars. From what I understand. Or hundreds. Like hundreds or thousands. Because I've seen a lot of tweets. People have been tweeting at him. Hey. I gave you money. Where's my board? Hey. Oh yeah, I think, I think it should be thousands because there are people who, who easily just one person have like, you know, more than 500 because it includes the parts as well. The price of the parts. Yeah, so look at that. The projective film for acrylic is still here. Uh, Big Dave, do you have the, do you have the extra screws for the board? If not, I might have them. I might be able to find some of the extra KVD-75 screws. I might have some extras. Because KVD fans always tosses in a lot of extras missing okay so I will try to look for extras I should have some so those of you who are tuning in for the first time you're wondering why is this guy critiquing this board so this was yeah this was you know someone who kind of got in over his head a bit you know jumped the gun I've been building keyboards for other people for over two years, over two and a half years now, maybe. It's like around, it's at least two years, uh, because my my Mac market ad is over two years already, and I've built around two hundred keyboards now, for for uh, custom keyboards. You know, so yeah, so I've I've been doing this for almost uh, for over two years. This guy definitely looks like, you know, he didn't even. Go past two weeks, so less than a fortnight. <laughs> okay, uh, back to this. So we'll peel the thing off. You can see it's got damage over here, though. So I don't know how this happened, honestly, because I've never seen anything like that from KBD fans. So I believe this was something the builder did. Uh, I wonder what it is. It looks like. Did he install it upside down, maybe? Or something? I don't know. But... How did that... Did, did he just screw it in wrong, maybe? Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's... 
do some investigative work. I'm just curious how those happened. No, I have no idea. But that's some damage there. Okay, let's go ahead and take this. Yeah, and it's also on the top side as well, see? Then push the solder giant right up against the film. Maybe the thing is, that's what I thought too, but oh, you know, maybe, maybe he can you bend it? No, because the standoff is there. Oh, you know, hold on, hold on, hold on. No. Uh, I don't think so. Yeah. Because I thought maybe that, you know, he, he's kind of was angling it while he was screwing it in. and then, But they don't, the, the pins don't line up over there. Anyway, I've uh, got this. And so let's take a look at the, 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 the build itself, the soldering work. Man, we're not even... <laughs> we're not even, we're not done yet. We're still going. Oh, the stabilizer was the first thing I was concerned about, right? Wait, so the KB defense actually mess up the cut for this? I'm so confused now, hold on. Actually might have messed up the cut for this, hold on, let me check my... I have another Let's pull this one out. So now 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 this is my that might be on KP fans. Yeah, so it is north facing. But the plate is not cut correctly. That's, that's on KBD fans. See the holes are big over here. Yeah, so they messed up the plate. So we'll see if, we'll see if we have to file this thing down. This is not the first time KBD fans have done something like that. Oh man, check out the soldering though. Check out the soldering. Which one? You only custom wanted something other than DC sixty. Don't don't uh knock yourself uh, over it. You know. It's definitely not your fault. So look at that soldering. See this gaping hole over here? See, so there's just barely enough solder on one side. Cleaning the flux is really not a problem. Uh, Cause people who clean the flux off the boards, most of the time what you do is you're not actually cleaning it. You are spreading it all over the PCB. Because to actually clean the flux off, you need to rinse the whole PCB. You can't just rely on just brushing. Uh, you have to properly, you, you know, you need a lot, a lot of liquid. And so most of the time when I've seen people try to clean their PCBs, try to clean flux off, it's really just, you see that you end up with kind of a sticky, cloudy film over the whole PCB. So I don't even recommend cleaning the flux off. But... Look at that, another gaping hole. There's lots of 
holes everywhere. See this one? So for the top row, I think there are more holes than not. I see almost every stitch has a big hole. And a little hole over here. Big hole here. Another hole. Another hole. Another hole. So the thing is, this top row is a little tricky. It is a little tricky. Uh, because the PC mo the, 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 the through holes are bigger than standard for the top row it's because of some hot swap shit that KB fans tried to do but uh, but you should still fill it out you know at least get full coverage even if you you don't get uh, a, a concave uh, little cone you should still fill out any holes and he obviously didn't do that. Wow, this one's just barely hanging on. Look at that. And you just get this little bit of, this tiny bit of uh, solder on it over here. You can see everywhere else, there's just, <laughs> the pin just isn't touched by anything else. It's just a little bit of solder. Yeah, so a lot of these switches you can see, so, I said that you know maybe the big ones he might have struggled just because he was new to that but you can see even the regular standard size holes he wasn't filling it out properly if you get what i mean uh see look at that just obviously just a hasty job might be worse than you're starting on the viper well this is Soldering by Viper. I guess the good news is uh, there are not as many cold joints as I expected. None of the bulbous. Not too, like, you know, nothing too obvious. And you get maybe some that just looks a little too fat, but, you know, no cold joints. So, hey, he did something. Something. But yeah, it's definitely just a rush job, right? Just a lot of switches not soldered properly. Uh, and so now I'm... So you can see over here, he kind of messed up there around the caps lock. I think he tried to desolder, and you can see there's still leftover solder here. So I believe he put it in stabbed first, and then removed it. And you can see the flux here almost burnt this part of the switch too. Now what is happening here? Do you see this? C1? What is that? Dude. He did he actually burned it off and add more solder to it. You see that? See this is what it's supposed to look like over here? Man, I need a macro lens. You see this one? Yeah, I don't know how much you can see, but I have to take close close up shots of it. So it's supposed to look like the C6, C5. This one, yeah, it's kind of hard to see. But yes, this pains me. Look at this thing. So one thing that I I, I hope is that we don't need to get any extra switches. Uh, I hope it doesn't come down to that. I hope it doesn't come down to getting a new plate as well because yes. Problem shouldn't happened. Should not have happened. This is why I have um, people asking me, Am I worried about all these new keyboard building services popping up? And you're like, hey, shouldn't you make a new ad? I'm like, ah, I think I'm, I think I'll be good uh, for now. You know, 
it's just so wild. Just man, this just looking at this makes me. Uh, uh. Got juice, mate. Hello. My first thought about it was if unleaded solder and non tamp control iron, but it's nowhere near as bad. You think you couldn't get as bad as me? You. Yeah, and this was someone who was trying to, you know, make money off of building this, so that's why. Looks like time is out to beat a world record or something. That's why I'm not a fan of uh, flat rate builds because, you know, your incentives kind of all wrong. You know, you're just rushing to finish things. But yeah, but this is this is pretty bad, pretty pretty bad. Helpful is also here, hello. Yeah, so, I'll desolder this uh, sometime this week, I think. And I'll probably get to building the board in a week or two. Uh, but I, I'm just worried about the plate, really, because it looks really badly warped now. Right. And again, brass is just a, a, an absolute bitch to work with. So, uh, that's my concern. Just look at that. Man, that negative. Look at. Oh, man. Just. Oh, no. Yeah. This just makes me sad. I feel really bad. This one's not that terrible, but the problem is that now it shows you that this side was cut. Like, you know, it's still, it's still uh, tilted a bit, but it's not so bad. But, you know, I'd rather this side be tilted the same as this side, because that means, you know, you're not bending the plate weird. But you can look over here, you can see it's just, it's just bent all weird. Yeah, so... For those of you who are wondering, well, what should I do then, you know, if I, if I want to build a board and, you know, you know, I get something I want to do, right? Uh, I have, I have the time to do it. I have the, you know, I'm interested in, in you know, making it work. Uh, can always watch my streams, right? Uh, every week we have a, a build, you know, I've been doing it for over two years now. And, you know, we through the same process and I make sure to, you know, talk about making sure the plate and PCB are parallel all around and make sure that all the switches are flush against the PCB switch alignment as well things like that uh, and yeah and if you want to ask oh what's uh, if you had if I were to leave you with one thing uh, I'd say watch some soldering videos that's it just that's that's a good start. That's that's a that's an excellent start. But yeah, but the thing is, watching soldering videos is not gonna teach you <laughs> that, that your plate needs to be straight. Yeah. So so hopefully we will be able to to fix this. So this this is rough. Yeah, so I'm hoping all the switches still work and that the plate will be fine. Let's try plugging it in. Uh, hopefully it doesn't crash my computer or some shit. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it, do it. Okay, let's put the LEDs. Still waiting. Waiting for the USB connect sound, you know? I don't hear anything.
Just kidding. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, hold on. Uh, okay, let's see if it shows up. Uh, so definitely nothing. Right, I'm pushing down keys. Switch it. Uh, again, we didn't hear the USB connect sound. The lights light up. Uh, but. that uh we could try to can we just push this down nope because even if you were to reset it you know it's not supposed to do this uh i could check my drivers hold on see if devices i guess oh damn it okay where'd my cursor go Should be under devices, right? Oh, right. Is there a way to sort by? Most recent device? Yeah, because I don't see it here. Let's unplug it and plug it back in. Let's see if you we hear anything. Doggy dude, welcome to the stream. I find it's really interesting. Can you give me a quick overview of what it's about? I mean, if you get something better than you can buy, oh, for sure. Normally, I would say for sure, but uh, today we learned that maybe not. Um, so basically what we're doing right now is so I build custom keyboards for people and on stream. We've been doing this for over two years. Uh, and I, I got I, I was contacted by Big Dave, who is was in chat, because he 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 commissioned someone else to put together a custom keyboard. Uh, that person did not do a good job at all. And so the board doesn't work. And so today we're kind of doing a bit of uh, Bit of a, a breakdown of, of maybe what went wrong. And so right now we are trying to get the computer to detect the keyboard and obviously nothing's working. The lights light up, so there's power. But yes, so you don't hear any sound. Even when you pull it out, there's no sound. All right, typically when you pull out, there is some sound. <laughs> but there's nothing. There's no response. Is the nature of keyboards being custom refunds going to be accepted unless there's a hardware issue with the board? Is this from uh, the builder? But yeah, so man, I am I'm pretty tempted to keep this as is. And I should probably take some pictures before we. At least we have this stream, right? We have this vod. This is, yeah, this is quite, quite, quite sad. He's been having a plate on one corner. It's not just one corner. Uh, look at the middle. Look at that. The whole thing just, just flush. Like, Make sure your switches are flush against the plate and PCB. Oh, plate flush against the PCB. Got it. Yeah, why even have a plate at this point? Tinfoil, hello. Inky braided. Hello, hello. Yeah, so the thing is, there's a difference between someone just, you know, trying to learn, you know, a new skill or just trying to have fun, trying to do something. And then, you know, when you 
when you are a professional, as in professional, as in you're getting paid to do something, not as in very good at it, right? So this person is a, this is a good example of the difference between a professional and an expert, right? This person is technically a professional because he's getting paid to do something. But he was not an expert, not, not at all. Pretty bad. Pretty, pretty bad. Yeah, I hope. I hope. Yeah, I hope that's the case too, jerk chicken. I have not tested the the screw. Uh, the threads are working fine. Yeah, that would be that would be a concern for sure. Well, um, we're almost at two hours. I think. So today we learned quite a few things. Uh, we learned what not to do with with keyboards. Also, you know, uh, definitely be careful. And again, I don't have anything against. Like personally, I don't have anything against Vipers here. You can check my Discord. I've been pretty adamant about you know some of the discussions not going out of control you know i think that some people will you know the 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 the, the very vocal ones will, will definitely say that you know i was i didn't i didn't like a lot of the the negativity that was going on but you know i was trying to be nice about it right but then you get to see the the actual work and man yeah and you know i don't watch tifu uh, not because oh I don't watch Tifu and so you know I don't like Vipers no I just I'm, I don't play Fortnite at all uh, and it's not because ooh because I think Apex is better I don't even play Apex uh, yeah but today we're just looking at keyboards gone wrong gone horribly wrong that's what we're doing okay so. kind of it for now if you have any questions let me know just real quick uh, otherwise i'm gonna start a raid and I'll, I'll run the credits first actually oh someone want a custom keyboard what types of customizing can you do so the big thing the first big thing is a custom layout or a different layout that's kind of the big thing right but most people still go with a standardish layout uh so that's the more obvious one right? like a custom layout that's the most obvious the one that's less obvious a bit is you could reprogram the board to kind of do whatever Right, not just through a software. Right? You, could, you could do a lot of it. You could change a lot of the the functions, and then your own switches. Your 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 own plate. It looks like it's like a um, think a, a a custom computer compared to a you know a computer you buy off of Dell or HP or like that. Right, all the different options, the different things. Aesthetics, of course, plays a big part. Uh, and acoustics, right? Uh, once you get past the you know looks, you know, like, oh yeah, I want it to sound good. I want it to feel good. So lots and lots of differences, lots and lots of things, lots of options, choices, lots of money, uh, and lots of disappointment sometimes too. A big day for the tier one stuff. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, again, I, 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 I'm so sorry that 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 uh, you got you know your board in this condition. Uh, I'm sorry that you got you got ripped off. I hope. I, I, I hope you are able to work something out. I know that PayPal won't refund you, you know, obviously. You know, they're not gonna, I think it's too late now to do that, but hopefully, you know, uh, you can get in contact with Viper, maybe. You know what I need to replace with anything? Okay, yeah, I will, I will let you know about the plate because that's my main concern right now, the plate. Uh, we can't even test all the switches because this PCB doesn't even work. But the plate, the plate is what I'm concerned about. I will, I will have to see about that. Three ton Jack, welcome to the stream. Okay, so let's run the credits. Thank you everyone for being here. We really appreciate it. I, I hope you have a good week. Uh, we will do a build on Friday. Friday it will most likely be the EXC sixty five. Where the hell are my credits? It's Friday, full build. It's gonna be good. Keyboard's gone wild. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, 
Again, thank you everybody for being here. Cheers, Japanese Horror Rider. Thousand bits, thank you so much. Uh, the new follows. I guess we'll wait for the God Dream 666. Interesting name. Voxel EXE. Got Juice Mate. Glow Geo. Thank you. Uh, June the Boon. A Rose. Dixie Mac. Oh, Dixie is also here. Kitamat F789. Cruise Control. Tonio Builds. Pixel. With lots of underscores. Blanks. And Pine Apples. And for the subs and resubs, Striker, possibly Fruit. Big Dave. Thank you so much. Uh, let's initiate the raid. So we are going to. Uh, so it's a long time friend of the channel. It is Shay Roz. She is a variety streamer. I think she's doing art right now. So we're going to go there. Very, very friendly person. Please don't be rude there. Uh, say hi. Give her a follow. She's too nice. Very nice. Yes, yeah, so everyone, again, have a good night. Noxygen, Talisman Solutions, Champlain. Yes, join the Discord if you want, or if you don't, that's fine. Dougie Dude, Got Juice Mate, Three Time Jack, Not Evening, Trauma Junkie, Big Dave, again. Thank you, thank you. Tinfoil, DMX Tricks, Tyson, Chris is Upset. Trader Gamer, Apiary Keyboards. Also, yeah, don't forget to check out Apiary Keyboards if you haven't already. She also does keyboards. If people have not left yet. Uh, who else? Who else am I missing? Alina. Got juice. Yes. So, good night. I will see you all.